Hey, what is up guys, Wizzle here and today I just want to talk about something. Talk about the Galileo Observatory and the connection with the mystery with it. I think this is pretty interesting and it could definitely help us further. So yeah, yesterday I was talking with my good friend Angelo Cabrest about the mystery and we were just throwing out our theories and thoughts about everything in the game and suddenly we came across the observatory. There are a few things what are really Really freaking strange here but before we are moving on I first need to show you guys a few pictures to let you understand where I want to go with this information so yeah we got Los Santos Los Santos is based on Los Angeles of course Rockstar tried to make Los Santos look as much as possible as Los Angeles it is pretty much a based on real life city they got every little detail from real life and they tried to make as much details as possible Possible in the game from real life. You can find this in the whole game, a few examples, Sierra Towers, um, Rodeo Drive, the Beverly Hills sign and the Beverly Hills Civic Center. And these are just four pictures. No joke, there are a thousand pictures just like this. So we can pretty much confirm the whole game looks like Los Angeles. But now coming back to the observatory, Rockstar did a really good job on making this Galileo observatory in GTA 5. But wait, why does the game contain these strange lines on the ground? They are all over the place, have weird boxes and they even change from color. But the thing here is, these lines aren't even there in real life. So what the hell are these? Why did Rockstar add them? And there is more guys. Do y'all see the pillar in the middle? Yes, this pillar is there in real life as well. But it is not the same in the game than in real life. In real life this anagram thing is on top of the pillar and that's the only spot. But in GTA 5 this anagram thing is on top of the pillar and right in front of the pillar as you can see here. So we got two suspicious things here. The lines and the anagram in front of the pillar. And we have learned now that the time, date, day, weather and even character depends when it comes to secrets in the game. A quick example, the golden peyote plant what recently got discovered. You need to play as Franklin, it needs to be a foggy weather and you need to be at the location of the plant between 7 and 8 a.m. Else it simply doesn't spawn for you. So I got a strong feeling this is the case at the observatory as well with the secret there. Now we know that all these factors can change it. So yeah guys that's it for the video. I just wanted to share this with you all because I really think these lines and boxes and of course the anagram in front of the pillar have something to do with the mystery. But yeah if you have any ideas or theories or any anything to say about this please be sure to leave it in the comment section below and please be sure to smash that like button if you still believe in the mystery and want to support my channel. I am definitely gonna try a lot of things out here in this location in the coming days. I might even do a live stream on it later on this week but yeah stay tuned for that guys. Subscribe to my channel for more and I'm out guys. Bye.